reporting in the New York Times citing a senior military official and evidence from the Airbus A320's voice recorder suggesting that one pilot had left the flight deck prior to the crash and was unable to get back into the cockpit. The Times quoting the official, an investigator, saying, quote, the guy outside is knocking lightly on the door and there's no answer. And then he hits the door stronger and no answer. There's never an answer. You can hear he's trying to smash the door down. If you look at what the New York Times is reporting in the first part of that story, it talks about how the two pilots had an ordinary, calm, cool, pleasant conversation. Then one pilot leaves uh, the cockpit and then uh, the, 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 the supposed lock, lockout happens. It could be nefarious, but I think the suggestion, and more of us might agree, uh, that it's the, 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 the pilot who remained inside the cockpit has some sort of medical emergency heart attack. And but you're basing that solely on the fact that there was a calm conversation previously? No, I'm basing it on the fact that it's more likely mm -hmm. than to find a pilot that's wanting to commit mass suicide of more than 150 people. The, the chances of that are extremely remote. The chances of the first option so, a a, medical a emergency. More, yes, a medical emergency. It doesn't raise the question, though, why there was only one person in the cockpit. If one pilot leaves, somebody else is supposed to go back in, a member of crew, so there's always two people there to prevent this from happening.